Dustin McLean, Claire Max, and Benjamin Martin. Experts in the world of cosplay and DIY. Masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue. Together, they are the DIY Costume Squad. Yo, I'm Benjamin. Welcome to Costume Squad. I have a bunch of cardboard and some miscellaneous household stuff I got because today I'm going to be making the Predator costume from the original 1987 classic. It's one of my favorite movies and I can't wait to tackle this costume. So, let's get to the chopper! Okay, so the first thing I notice is there are a lot of specific shapes, which I'm going to probably end up using cardboard. I'm going to spray paint the clothes for the base and then the helmet, probably be some foam elements and cardboard. So let's see what I got. I went shopping, um, got a bunch of different things, different options. I have this tan shirt. I have some tan leggings and uh, leggings are always really good because they're very form fitting. These are super cheap. I got these for four bucks. Got some gloves. Now all of the tan parts I think are gonna be his skin and then he does have some fingerless gloves which are gonna be these brown ones. And now he has like this fish net material all over his body. So I found some, this is brown but I'm gonna spray paint it black. Have a little fancy purse here, which I'm gonna spray paint brown because he does have a brown bag. This looks exactly like the right shape. So the first thing I have to do is I wanna spray paint all of these underclothes elements. So I have a few different colors, browns and some sort of mossy greens. I'm gonna be creating the reptilian alien skin that he has. This black was 99 cents. That's why I have a fence. <laughs> So he has this neck piece which looks like a rubbery material. I have this black burlap sack. It just has a kind of rugged texture to it. it. Looks pretty cool. I'm basically just cutting a scarf out of this material. He has brown fingerless gloves, so all I gotta do is cut the fingers off these ones. For the loincloth, I'm gonna be using this bathrobe shirt thing I got for four bucks at Goodwill. Uh, just gonna cut up the shapes and then I'm gonna attach it to a belt that I got at the 99 cent store. I'm kind of cutting this rough so that it looks a little more rugged on the edges. Yeah, it is very like uh, elementary school Thanksgiving play. <laughs> All right, so this is the front piece. I'm gonna do the back piece, AKA the butt. Woo -hoo! And then for the belt buckle, I'm using a piece of cardboard, maybe some aluminum foil tape. This is pretty shiny, so I'm gonna hit this with some black spray paint and the details are gonna be put on with black tape. Belt is done, time to move on to the sandals, which I found at Goodwill for like three bucks. They have this uh, pebbly design, which I'm gonna cover up with cardboard and some aluminum foil tape. So the gloves that I painted are dry, and I'm gonna add the fingernails, which are gonna be the handles of black plastic wear. Just cutting those off and gluing them right to the fingers. There we go, yeah. <laughs> For the body armor, I'm gonna be using cardboard and some plastic containers. I'm gonna start with the shoulders. A lot of this armor I'm gonna make out of cardboard because the shapes are so specific that it's easier to just cut them out of just raw pieces of cardboard. Batman. <laughs> so here I have the left shoulder finished up and it's unique. The other shoulder is a little bit more simple. So now I'm gonna do the chest piece, which starts in the front and then goes all the way around to the back. So everything is gonna attach to that. You know, I actually have these night pieces. These are from the 99 cent store. For the chest piece, I'm gonna make each section out of cardboard and then glue those right to the chest piece. I'm gonna add in the details using washers, tape, maybe some clothespins, toothpicks, whatever happens to look good. Okay, so there's a box on his shoulder. The gun sticks out. Um, I'm gonna use this packaging thing from a hard drive. And then there's like a cylinder or something on his back. So I'm gonna do it in pieces.
Okay, so I'm gonna do the gun, and I have a bunch of random stuff. I got all this at the 99 cent store. I've got a toy tank I might use, and then a jump rope, a garden hose nozzle set, and a bike mirror. Nope, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of piecing this together. Yeah, that, that's what I want. So that's it for the gun, and it looks kind of like a bird or something right now, but he's gonna get painted up. So I have all this extra stuff, I'm just gonna glue it to the backpack to give it some more detail, because I have it, I might as well use it, right? The pack is all ready to go, the gun is finished up, it's time to move on to the gauntlets, and I'm gonna be using megaphones! I got these at the 99 cent store. So this is my box of guns and I know I have some toy walkie talkies in here. That would be perfect. So for the blades, I have a craft foam. This is a little bit thicker, and I'm just gonna cut the blades out of this material and spray paint it silver. All this stuff's ready for paint, and so now I'm gonna move on to the crotch piece. I actually don't know what this piece is called. Jock strap? Predator protector? <laughs> Okay, let's see it. All right. Woo! All right, moving on to the thighs, and those are gonna be cardboard panels, sort of a scale shape on each side. Moving on to the shin pieces, I'm gonna do these a little bit differently with some plastic containers. I actually have a football bowl that's gonna be pretty cool for the back of the leg, and then some cardboard details. Okay, all my body pieces are done, but I'm gonna hold off on painting these. I'm gonna do the helmet first and then paint everything at the same time. So I have this bike helmet. I think I got it for like two or three bucks at Goodwill. Oh, it's so comfy too. As well as this uh, serving platter that might be a good treatment for the head. The top of the head has a really specific shape to it. It's done. <laughs> so to fill in the front piece, I'm gonna be using some of this foam. This is a knee pad that I got from the 99 cent store. So now I have my skeletal structure on this base and I'm gonna be wrapping it with craft foam. These are the thin sheets and they are 89 cents a piece. Super shredder. <laughs> All right, this helmet is all done. This stuff is all gonna get covered, so we don't have to worry about it, but everything's ready for paint. So first I wanna cover everything with a gray primer, and this was about four bucks. And then I'm gonna be covering it all with a metallic silver, a little more expensive, I think this was like six bucks. So now I'm doing a layer of silver. Okay. 
Okay, so now for the black layer, I'm gonna do a layer of black, then I'm gonna take just a plastic bag, dab it in, just really texturize it, and it just really looks like brushed steel. It's pretty rad. All right, this guy is ready to go, almost. We gotta do the hair. Okay, so this will not be Predator without the iconic dreads. So to make those, I'm gonna be using some uh, bungee rope and some electrical tape. It's very stretchy and malleable. And then uh, some gold duct tape. To make these dreads thicker, I'm quadrupling the rope together. And then I'm gonna wrap them entirely with electrical tape. And then the gold details are the gold duct tape. All right, and here's a finished dread. And it looks like I'm gonna need a whole bunch of these things, so I gotta get to work. Okay, all the dreads are done. My hands are a little sore, it was a lot of them, but um, I think we're ready to put it on. Before I do that, I wanna add the laser scope. And I'm gonna use a little flashlight I got from the 99 cent store. Gonna cover up the flashlight with a red notebook divider. And using black tape, I'm gonna cut out three little holes. And when I put it all on the end of the flashlight, it's gonna create those three little lasers that he has. So this is Velcro pieces. I'm gonna be putting this on the flashlight so that I can take it on and off to replace the batteries. Okay, so for a starting place, I know he has dreads all along this top plate, so I'm gonna start there using hot glue and some tape, and then I'm gonna fill in the whole back of the helmet. All right, so I think this guy is looking pretty sweet. The only thing left I forgot is the eyes. So to do that, I'm gonna use a mesh material that I got off of a jersey shirt. And there are certain elements I had to hold off on until I got to this point, like there's some belt detail on the chest piece that I had to wait till this piece was all made and spray painted. And I just got these at the 99 cent store. Okay. Okay, everything is done, and now it's time to assemble the whole costume. Okay, I've got the base shirt and pants on. They're very tight and very, I feel very vulnerable, exposed right now, but gotta put this mesh material on and then zip tie it to the actual shirt. Oh, zip ties, greatest thing ever. You know, I had an art teacher who used to wear socks with sandals. He used to make fun of her. Wow, this thing got heavy. Yeah, that is it, man. That's Predator. And that is it for the Predator costume. I am so stoked to show this to the rest of the squad. All right, are we ready to check out Ben's Predator costume? I am very excited to see this. I think he's coming right now. Whoa, Whoa. all right. Oh my gosh, this is so wow. awesome. Yeah. This is the most elaborate costume we've had so far it's, in the it's show, It's surprisingly, it's very intimidating. I was surprised. It is. I appreciate that this is a toy car here on the Yeah, toy, whoa, whoa. Ooh, sorry, sorry. Oh, wait, it's foam, it's foam, it's yeah. foam. And it's actually super comfortable. This might actually be, I feel like I could actually do a lot of stuff in this costume. Like go work out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, who has a more fierce manicure? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is epic. Wow. So how much did this end up costing? Uh, roughly about 35 to 40 bucks. I had a lot of the wow. materials, so it kind of offset the price a little bit. Um, nice. And then on the cardboard, of course, I got for free. Free cardboard. Uh, free cardboard, which is great. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more episodes of Costume Squad. We got Dustin coming up next. That's right. And uh, make sure to let us know in the comments what costumes you want to see the Costume Squad tackle. All right, guys, let's get to the chopper. Yeah. <laughs>